What's going on everyone? It's Brain with Jacoji Fine Jewelry, your personal jeweler. Darren Malone wants me to do a video on diamond breathing holes. Smash! Let's get started. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Jacoji Fine Jewelry. Visit my website www.jacoji.com. Look at the shirt with the angel wing matching hat. That deserves a smash, 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 smash. Now I didn't know diamond breathing holes was a thing. Like people had a question about it. I just knew that's how certain pieces were made and that's it. But I've been getting a lot of questions. People ask me, is my piece real? Because it doesn't have the holes on the back. Is it a bad piece? And questions like that. So it's time for me to make an old school classic. Let's learn something about jewelry video. I wanna show you guys a few different pieces for you to look at with the diamond breathing holes and some without it. And then we'll talk about, of course, the diamond breathing holes. So let's look at the uh, happy Buddha here. He's having a great day. Hope you guys are too. On the back, as you can notice, it does have the breathing holes for those diamonds. You can see the diamonds in the back. It's a thin set uh, frame with the diamonds. Here's my pinky ring, black diamonds, white diamonds. And then on the inside, you have the breathing holes. And then moving on to this white gold cross, same thing on the back, it's got a gallery. And then it's got the breathing holes in the back, you can see the diamonds. Moving on to these big set rings, um, these are really popular right now. But again, breathing holes, see all those holes on the back with all the diamonds. We got black diamonds and pink sapphires here in the inside, you got the breathing holes, black and white diamonds, breathing holes. Now for this um, wedding ring, it's a big, big ring, princess cut, fully flooded. I love this. This is my masterpiece. It does not have the breathing holes on the inside of the band because the gold is thick. It's all pave set. So check it out. See how you can see it's just plain gold. Nowhere is there the breathing. I guess just the princess cut itself is is open in the back but the rest are all pave set into the white gold there's a few good things about the breathing holes for you guys number one the cleaning of it now when you clean your jewelry all that lotion oil and the gunk that builds up every day gets trapped and gravitates towards the bottom of the setting if it's pave set just drilled into the gold then it stays there it's harder to clean but with the breathing holes it, essentially you have a drainage system where all that stuff gets flushed out leaving you with a better clean piece of jewelry. So that is a very good thing. We all wanna keep our jewelry looking like new, of course. The other thing is the wearability. Now, I was meeting with a client yesterday. She has a very wide, like those rings I just showed you, pave set diamond band, and she said, I don't want any more pave set rings because when I'm wearing them all day, you know, the moisture builds up and it irritates my skin. I just wanna take it off. And I agreed with her because I'm the same way. After a long day, regardless of breathing holes or pave set rings. I can't wait to take my ring off because it just, the oils and everything that builds up during the day just rubs against my skin and it kind of irritates it. So the breathing holes definitely allow that moisture to escape because there are the holes. It's almost like a ventilation, if you would, with um, you know all that moisture and oil that builds up. So it is a good thing. It allows it to escape leaving you with maybe more of a comfortable feel at the end of the day. Now, from a manufacturer standpoint, the breathing holes is easier to set because you have the holes, the basically the bottomless holes. When you pave set, drill into that gold, the bottom of the diamonds and gemstones are, are sharp points, so if you set too hard, set wrong, it'll it'll crack the stone. And when you're setting 500, 1,000 different pieces doing big time manufacturing, Losing a few stones here and there can add up big time. So it's easier to set those breathing holes because you're not gonna crack your stones as easy. It's not easy to crack a stone, but it does happen and it's a loss when it does. The other thing would be um, you essentially save in gold weight too with all those holes. Again, if you're, fa uh, you're it's not like if you're manufacturing five to 10 pieces. If you're manufacturing a lot of different pieces, you're gonna save on that gold wave. You can save a gram or two and manufacturing a thousand pieces, do the math, it's a big savings, less liability and tying you know, all that money into one or two designs. So it's good because of that aspect, easier to work with. And overall right now, people tend to like breathing holes, especially for rings because of the issue with the cleaning and the wear on it. In conclusion, the breathing holes are a great thing for jewelry. That being said, don't judge a piece if it has breathing holes or not, if it's a bad or good piece, because half of my pieces don't have breathing holes because they have more gold, they're pave set, that's how it is. 
with rings they tend to do have breathing holes because that's the preference but pendants not so much um and they do some do like that buddha has breathing holes it's thin gold the diamonds are set and that's just how it is more gold most likely it's going to be pave so don't sway one way or the other because of that fact of breathing holes being easy to clean and the wearability because I could take a dirty pave set piece of jewelry and a breathing hole piece of jewelry, clean both of them and you guys would never know the difference. They both look like new pieces. So don't go up to your jeweler and be like, hey, Brayden from Jacoju Fine Jewelry, your personal jeweler said I need breathing holes in all my pieces because that's not the case. Every piece is made how it needs to be made and the jeweler knows best most of the time. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any other questions or if I missed out on a topic or a point about breathing holes, leave it down below. Thank you for watching, and we will see you on our next jewelry video.